Hey guys, so recently I took a solo trip to New York City and this is how it went. I'm from California, so the flight was a long six hours. Once I landed, I decided to head over to the Brooklyn area for some sightseeing. This is the Manhattan Bridge, which is an iconic photo spot. Next I went to Old Pier 1, which had a really nice view of the skyline. It's also right next to the famous Brooklyn Bridge. I ended up taking an Uber across the bridge to the Manhattan side, and I'm not gonna lie, the traffic was horrible. But when we did start moving, it kind of made me feel like I was having a main character moment with the wind on my face and the busy city views all around. By the time we reached the other side, the sun had set, and I walked along the pedestrian path a little bit as the city lights started turning on, which was super pretty. I had to turn back pretty quickly since I had a reservation at the One World Observatory really soon after. The building is part of the rebuilt World Trade Center complex, and the observatory is on the 100th to 102nd floors. It was surprisingly pretty empty when I went. As you can see, the view was gorgeous. The camera really doesn't do it justice, but it was literally just a sea of bright lights and tall buildings as far as you could see. Down below I could see all the tiny cars in the streets of Manhattan, and on one side you could also look across the water to the New Jersey side. I'm a sucker for city skylines, especially at night, so this is super magical for me. I highly recommend. By this time it was pretty late, and I hadn't really eaten since waking up at 6am pacific time, so I was starving. I took the subway to my hotel in Flushing, which is in the Queens area of New York. It's a heavily Chinese dominated area, and so I got to enjoy some authentic Chinese food for dinner. So the reason I was in New York this time was actually for an interview. I applied to JP Morgan Chase's software engineering internship, and I got invited to their final round interview in New York City. Basically, they have a special kind of final round, which is a 24-hour overnight hackathon where you program a project and they evaluate you through this instead of a traditional interview. They flew me out and paid for the round-trip plane ticket, which was really cool. So the next morning, I headed out towards the JP Morgan headquarters where the event was to be held. The next 24 hours were a whirlwind of sleep deprivation, long hours of coding, and bonding with my teammates. The hackathon was themed around social good, and we were introduced to a nonprofit organization for which we were to build projects to assist them with their mission and goals. My team and I worked on a website to connect members of the nonprofit in order to facilitate deeper connections within the organization. There was a lot of free merch, food, and they even had a little room with cots for sleeping. Definitely the fanciest hackathon I've ever attended, and had a really good time. By the end of it, I was super tired, but I really enjoyed my experience. After the end of the event, I went to the Summit 1 Vanderbilt Observatory. Since I went to the other observatory at night, I wanted to check out a daytime skyline view as well. Along the way, I got to take in some more of the city vibes, and I passed by the Grand Central Terminal area, which was really pretty and also very busy. I was expecting the observatory to just be a tall building with good views, but this one blew me away. It was a full-on art experience, divided into multiple areas. The first room was full of mirrors, and as soon as I walked in, my eyes felt almost blinded by how bright it was. The views of the city were great, but they really outdid themselves on everything else. There were intriguing works of art, a room full of shiny balloons, and the rooms were paired with really fitting music as well. It felt like I was walking through an otherworldly experience. If I had to choose only one observatory to go to in New York City, it would probably be this one. I also checked out the New York Public Library. The building was really grand, and inside it was really pretty. I was a bit gross and tired because I'd been at the overnight hackathon event, so I headed back to my hotel at this point and quickly showered and rested a bit before heading back out. The next stop was Hudson Yards, where the landmark known as the Vessel is. Normally you can walk along it to the top, but it was closed, so we were only allowed to walk through the lower level. I also checked out the Highline Park, which is basically a trail that's on an elevated platform which used to be a railway. It was a really nice spot to watch the sunset over the Hudson River. As the night began, I walked over to Times Square. I've been there before, but I was still taken aback by just how busy and crowded it was. The whole place was completely packed and the screens and flashing lights everywhere really made it feel like I was at the center of the world. 
I'd actually made plans to get dinner near Times Square with a friend from UCLA who's graduated now and works in New York City, so we met up and caught up over some ramen, which was super fun. Afterwards, we walked around a little bit and checked out Rockefeller Center, and we also passed by the NBC building and the Radio City Music Hall, which was pretty neat. The next morning, I had to leave, and I actually flew directly to Los Angeles instead of back home to my parents' house, since I was moving into my dorm at UCLA. So essentially, this kind of served as a last minute trip before going back to school. I feel like spending the whole trip alone made me feel a lot more comfortable with traveling alone and just sightseeing alone. And it made me realize even more that you really don't always need to go with somebody. It also just made me feel more adult-like since I've never really been this far from home by myself. In any case, thank you for watching. If you ever visit New York City, I highly recommend checking out the spots I included in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.